Hey guys, I am Aditya Thakur, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to go live and talk about the Hacktober Fest, which is just right around the corner. And we'll get started with um, what is Hacktober Fest? How can you participate in it? And then we look at some Flutter projects to contribute to. More importantly, I want to show you how can you yourself, you know, find projects to contribute to, because. Uh, as the popular saying goes, teach a man how to fish and, you know, he'll never be hungry. So let's get started with it. Also, um, if there are any issues as in, in audio or voice, do let me know. Other than that, um, you can join in on the Discord server to find links of repositories, all the repositories that we'll take up in this particular video. And yeah, let's get started with it. So uh, I'm doing this session, like I had planned it for a for weeks but i wanted to take it up today just before hacktober fest actually begins so let's get started with it as in first uh the more important question what is hacktober fest so it's a program you can say it is an event uh, to encourage open source participation to have people contributing to open source projects why i particularly love it is because a lot of organizations, what they do is they uh, set their repositories, they mark their repositories under the Hacktoberfest tag. And there are a lot of mentors available. So if you run into any issues, uh, you will have all these mentors there to help you. And it's just like a, a, the whole community is there to help and guide you. And it's really a great opportunity to actually, you know, make a meaningful contribution. So let's get started with it. And the first thing uh, that you really need to do is go over to the Hacktoberfest website. So I'll also share my screen and then we'll have a look at it. All right, so uh, the official Hacktober Fest website is hacktoberfest.digitalocean.in. And if you go over to the home, you'll have uh, an option to register and you can just, uh, you know, sign in with either your GitHub account or GitLab account. All right, yeah. So, and then, you know, after you create your account, it would show you like your profile uh, with your name on it and it will show you like total completed in progress and it hasn't begun yet. Uh, it will start after 1st October. So there are certain things that you can go over while you are here. There are resources available for first time contributors. And uh, like it will show uh, there is a video on how you can make your first pull request and getting started. If you are a maintainer, you can check out the different resources and participation. How can you participate in it? There are certain rules to it. So pull requests can only be submitted to any participating repository. Uh, how do you know that a repository is participating in Hacktoberfest? So there are multiple things. So let us take this one for an example. Uh, what you will notice is when you will go over to a GitHub repository, it should have first of all, uh, like a topic Hacktoberfest. If that particular repository has this topic, so it means that uh, they are participating in it. And other thing is like they'll also have issues marked with the Hacktoberfest label or and they'll have a Hacktoberfest accepted label for when you know um, your pull request is successfully accepted. Uh, it will be here right this one. So I don't know how good it's visible uh, because I haven't zoomed in or anything but these are the two things. Also like it's not necessary that every participating repository has the topic like uh, some repositories would not have this topic and instead just have the labels so that would to mean like they are participating so these are like included in the maintainer guideline but what you need to know is like if 
a repository has this topic so it's participating in it and only a uh, contribution made to repositories that have opted in would be counted so that is really um, essential to identify them and i would also show you how to find out uh, the participating repositories and how to check out these issues so the pull request must contain commits you made yourself which is uh, really important and if you like uh, uh, go over and start making you know spam pull requests so the maintainers can mark them as spam or invalid and it would not be counted and if someone reports your behavior so you will be ineligible to participate often times when a program like this uh, goes on then people uh, just start making spam requests and you know uh, invalid pull requests so that is not appreciated and uh, there are certain perks as in to encourage participation so they give out t-shirts like this one and this year 50000 participants can earn a t-shirt uh, but on like on the good side as in if we see things october fest ensures that there are a lot of you know repositories that are open to contribution so there are also mentors available and there are also meetups being organized which you can you know just go over and uh, have a look at or you know network with others and get to learn a lot so uh this is the hacktober fest event you can go over to the event website and register yourself now let us look at some of the projects uh, that are open for contribution first of all there is uh this uh this is the one project that i am maintaining this year for the event it's uh, aditya thakur xd uh, which is my github username and you can follow me on github if you like i like to star and fork a lot of projects so they would show up on your explore page and you can just um like go over and check out my profile so aditya thakur xd slash university what we are trying to do is basically uh, build a mobile application using flutter which would have all these different resources available for free uh, there would be like uh, how there would be road maps to learning different things so if you want to learn flutter there would be a road map provided by one of the mentors and it would have some youtube videos article links that you can check out if you want to learn ui ux or github or anything and it would be uh, having flutter for code and firebase uh, like the back end stuff but right now i have opened a lot of issues so as you can see like my repository also has this hacktober fest topic here and it also has a lot of issues to take up uh there are issues in screens and then i have also marked a lot of them good first issue good first issue means that they are uh, good for newcomers they are really easy to take up and they all have these issues and labels to it i also wanted to mark them level 1 or level 2 so that people who are taking them up know like what kind of work it's there so we have tried to in like i have tried to include description design and also try to provide resources which they can refer so if you are new to flutter and want to take something up i would be happy to guide you on your first open source contribution you can check this out uh, aditya thakur xd/university and also a uh, real quick like um, if you have any questions about uh, what projects to contribute to or you know about flutter in general you can join our discord community so you can go over to teamaditya.co and join us on discord also get a free flutter resource book and if you don't use discord you can also uh, join us on telegram and uh, i'll also open my discord and share all the projects that i come across to to one of the channel so it's easier to access all right so this is like the first repository we have come across also as i was mentioning there are a lot of other projects to contribute to one particularly good one that i wanted to take up in this live stream is um, the flutter plugin so the flutter community has also is also participating sort of in hacktober fest and what they have done is they have opened the contribution to okay so what they have done is they have opened contribution on the plus flutter community um 
github repository so what you will have to do is uh, go over to this github.com slash flutter community and the plus plugins so all these pl plus plugins have this hacktoberfest label so which means like they are participating in it they have opened their issues to hacktoberfest and you can just go over take up a issue and just uh, you know try to contribute to it so like this is the one issue migrate from uh, deprecated pedantic to flutter lints uh, i had commented on it and like i got this issue to work on and i would be working on it so what i need to do is basically migrate the the linter that they are using to flutter lints which is the one recommended right now and there are other issues that you can take up so there is a whole page of this and for different plugins as well like if you want to work on the battery plus plugin or the share plus you can just take up a issue comment on it and they'll uh, you know let you know like if you want to take it up so i've also made a video on how you can make your open source contribution in flutter so you can also check that out and there is also an exhaustive list of open source projects in flutter this would be linked in description these are some of the projects from different programs as in uh, the girl script summer of code and some other programs that keep happening and a lot of uh, the people who maintain these projects are a really uh, good people in the flutter community they have been helping me a lot and you can just check out all these projects i would also be adding to this list and there is like all these projects that you can take up uh, my video on how to make your first open source contribution is also available all right so i'm getting a red bull ad here but uh, what i want to show you is basically how to find projects so what you need to do is uh, go over to the search or you can just you know click on the hacktoberfest topic and it would take you to the topic page right so it would show hash uh, like hashtag hacktoberfest and it would have all these different repositories in it that are uh, marked with this particular topic now uh, what you can do is basically improve on this search by sorting so i wanted to go here and search for hacktoberfest hacktoberfest uh, go to all github and uh, like when you're here you can just go to this small button called advanced search and in advanced search you can type in hacktoberfest here and then in this written in this language you can select you know any language that you want to contribute to since i'm talking about flutter i will go with dart and after i have applied this you can also apply more filters as in you can set a limit to the number of stars it has probably if it's a new repository or you know if it's something um, a beginner itself then you can go for less number of stars if you also want to sort basis on the fork as in if not if you don't want a lot of people on it so you can just uh, limit the number of folks on it and size and you can also filter by license if you want and you can just click on search so right now it should show you all the uh, different repositories with the hacktoberfest topic and the language uh, dart so this is a, a good link to refer to that i can share so all right so i'll go over to my server and go down to it's called so i have a channel here it's called flutter open source and i'll just paste this github query here so it should show all the hacktoberfest uh, language dart and repositories with the advanced filter on it and yeah now let us see like all the different repositories that are available to take up so there is this uh, vit app that that is also open to hacktoberfest but they might be just you know accepting contributions from their own college and like this you can just check out all the different repositories that are available there is the flutter community plus plugins that we just talked about which is also listed here uh there is the algorithms dart so it has like all the different algorithms written in dart font awesome flutter 2 has the hacktoberfest topic in it and community classroom mobile app also has the 
है अक्टूबर फेस्ट टॉपिक सो दे आर यूजिंग द ब्लॉक आर्किटेक्चर टू बिल्ड द मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन एंड यू कैन जस्ट चेक आउट दी ओपन इशूज दैट आर अवेलेबल है आई बिलीव दे आर ऑलरेडी असाइंड एंड द डिफरेंट पुल रिक्वेस्ट कैन बी मेड ऑन दिस सो देर आर अदर रिपोजिटरीज एज वेल देर इज द सर्कुलर बॉटम नेविगेशन एंड मोर ऑन इट और सम फ्लटर आर्ट रिवर ब्लॉक एंड राइट सो देर आर सर्टन चैलेंज इज लोकली ऑर्गेनाइज वन ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट आई विल पर्सनली रिकमेंड इज बींग पार्ट ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज इन यू कैन ज्वाइन इन ऑन आर कॉम्युनिटी एंड यू नो जस्ट बींग पार्ट ऑफ अ कॉम्युनिटी सो दैट इवन इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क सम वन ऑन द सर्वर और यू कैन आस्क दैट पर्टिकुलर कॉम्युनिटी ऑर्गेनाइजर इफ यूर कॉलेज हैज सर्टन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट हेल्प यू लाइक देर आर सर्टन स्टूडेंट चैप्टर्स दैट टेक अ प्रोजेक्ट सो ट्राई टू बी एक्टिव इन दैट because uh, it would be a great opportunity you know to first make your first open source contribution and then later on you know mentor others to make their open source contribution because it's a long term game the more repositories you participate in the more you get to learn about good architecture about a lot of stuff and it would be just a good practice you know to take up first on a local level as in just participate in a student chapter or a community event then go a bit bigger as in try to contribute to flutter community plugins and then you know move up try to contribute to the flutter repository itself they actively accept uh contributions and they are also always ready like on their discord server hacker new challenge channel they are always ready to help you out with your contributions and uh, there are different issues like you can take up also a lot of organizations are you know built on open source uh, i recently came across this projects uh, by zeroda and they have all these open source projects out of zeroda there's list monk which is in version 2 right now it's a high performance self hosted newsletter mailing list there are also few in dart as in if you go down uh, i'd seen some projects that were done in dart that were being used yeah uh, sort of like this autopilot is there so it is a test driver for flutter to do qa testing without sharing app source code so it's uh, built by one of the tech people at zeroda so app developer at zeroda so definitely you can check out all this stuff um, i'll have it linked in the description also i'll share it to my server if you are near new do join in on teamaditya.co uh, this was like a short video so what we covered is what is hacktober fest uh, the different points to it how to find projects the search advanced filter you can also you know check out the article which is linked in description to find these projects or you can just join in on Dis or discord we'll just keep sending it there and you can also check out my project if you are a uh, new to open source contribution we would we would be happy to have you there contribute to it uh, then we also took up the hacktober fest by the flutter plus community so you can you know check out the different issues marked with the hacktober fest label and send your pr based on it so they also are encouraging um, contributions to it and lastly like how organizations you know like zerodha are actively using open source uh, to support their tech so yeah so that is it for this video uh, thank you again for watching and if you new here don't forget to subscribe don't forget to join the community and yeah my article is also available on the google dev library if you will go down here and open source projects in flutter and you can just check it out on medium the link would be in description so thank you again for watching oh okay i have yeah some questions i hadn't seen could you su suggest some react uh, beginner projects to contribute to i am not really familiar with react so don't know much about that uh new in flutter 21 thank you so much and yeah okay so we have from twitch as well i i'm not very active on twitch so really unsure about that but thank you so much for joining and we'll just conclude it here uh if you have any questions you can reach out on discord anytime thank you again